So I often get asked, what's the best PLC to learn on? And I usually answer that question with a question. What's your budget? Is your company making an investment and want to spend some money to get you some modern equipment to learn on? Then if that's the answer, I typically recommend the Compact Logics along with RS Logics 5000 or Studio 5000 Mini. Now those two items added together are going to be about $2,000. Now it's possible your local distributor will be able to get you a better price using a starter pack, but that's still not a lot of money for a company, but it's a lot of money for an individual to invest in equipment that will never be used in a production environment. It's just going to be used at home for studying and for learning purposes. So for those people who are spending money out of their own pocket, I typically will recommend the Micrologics 1000 if they want to buy something new, or the Micrologix 1100 if they want to buy something used. Now, whenever I say that, I always get people coming in and saying, well, well, wait a minute, I can get a Slick 500 really inexpensive. It's, uh, they're on eBay for like 10 bucks. I'm like, that's great, but you're gonna have to spend a thousand dollars to get software to program that. And they said, well, well, how about a PLC5? And it's like, that software's probably gonna cost you $10,000. And then they say, well, what about a Micro 1400 or 1200 or 1500? Well, that's not a bad choice, but that software is going to cost you $150. However, if you were to choose a 1000 or 1100, that software is actually free. And you don't even have to actually buy the hardware because the emulation software is totally free as well. So that's why I picked these. Now, now some will say, well, why not the Micro 800? It's inexpensive. It has free software. Well, that's true. But if you've ever programmed the Micro 800, then you know the ladder logic programming language in there, the instruction set, it's different. It's very different than RS Logic's 5, 500, or, or RS Logic's Micro. So if you learn the Micro 800, you're not learning the rest of Rockwell's legacy PLCs. And let me say this the Compact Logics and Control Logics, the ladder logic language used, those instructions used in that platform, almost identical to these others. So while using a Micro 800, learning on a Micro 800 is not a bad idea. If what you want to do is learn how to program Allen Bradley products, you're going to learn one very small family if you choose those. Whereas if you learn on a 1000 or 1100, you'll be learning how to program a Slick 500, a PLC5, and have the basis for the same instruction set that's used in the Compact Logics and Control Logics. Now, the Micro Logics 1000, you can get a 10 point unit, brand new for $150, but you will need a serial cable and a USB converter. And I'll put links on the uh, screen so that you can find uh, some low cost uh, versions of those because they're kind of expensive if you buy them from the manufacturer themselves. So uh, I'll put links on the screen to alternatives I've tested and work. But if you, if you don't need to buy something brand new, if you can go with something used, the 1100 is a much better deal because, well, it has Ethernet built in, so you can just use a regular Ethernet cable. Um, it has floating point, has long integers, has a little display in the front. It can take expansion I.O. So if you don't mind using used equipment, and this is a used one I recently just purchased right off of eBay, um, then I'm going to recommend the 1100. Again, the 1000 and 1100 both use free software, and um, the 1100 just has so many more features than the 1000 that if you don't mind buying it used, I think new it's about 500 bucks, but if you don't mind buying it used, you'll be able to find it for $150 or less. So that's it. That's what I would recommend to new users as the PLC to use to learn on. And um, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. 